Hello! Welcome to the stream. It is Wednesday, October 17th, and it is time for Vigima Games. Hello! Hi, Ethan. Hi, Drake. How y'all doing? Um, today, we are starting a new game. Uh, we, we finished the Banner Saga last time, and now it is time for us to explore an entirely new form of uh, RPG. We are going to be checking out Tales of... Symphonia, which is a classic JRPG from 2004. That's 14 years ago, friends. That's a long time. That's this game's old enough to have strong political opinions. Ooh. Um, but <laughs> that aside, uh, I've been hearing from Jess and Lynn and a bunch of other people that this game is super awesome and they love it a lot. So. Uh, I'm excited to, to give it a look, but also, given the people that have been recommending it to me, I fully expect it to be um, kind of sad. So we'll see. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop the game open. I, I have only... Okay, so I've never played Tales of Symphonia. I've never played any of the Tales games. Um, honestly, I hadn't heard of them until pretty recently. So I'm going into this super blind. Um, I've only opened up the game enough to fiddle with some audio settings and get it uh, into OBS. So, yeah. Hopefully the audio isn't really, like, loud. We'll see. Um, there, is a, there is an opening cinematic that I have not watched, so we will get to watch that for the first time together. Bendai Namco. Anime The, uh, with the anime music video out of the way. That was pretty sick. That was pretty dope. Um, that was by... Somebody Somebody can Google this, um, but that was by Production IG, right? Also, holy cow, that's loud. Ah, I see. It did not save any of the changes I made to the <laughs> audio settings. Alright, let's, let's drop this. Drop all of this down. Battle sound effects down. Battle voices. All right. And hopefully... That's a bit more manageable. Um, let me know if it's still too loud, and I'll adjust it the moment we can. It's 
let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. Uh, so with the the intro, obviously that's gonna tell us something about the game. Um, that intro video. This is still too loud for me. That intro video is very much a JRPG staple. Now, I haven't played enough RPGs, like JRPGs specifically, to say if if it was already a staple at the time, because pretty much the only RPG I, JRPG I played at, at that point in time, like around 2004-ish, uh, was Final Fantasy VII. So, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of experience in the area. Um, but, you know, it, it sets us up to meet some of the characters, see sort of what what we should expect from the game. Uh, obviously there's some kind of like a relationship, whether it's it's protective or, or platonic or uh, uh, romantic. I'm not sure between the male character with the like red clothes and the female character with the white hair, if I remember correctly. Oh god, I feel like this is a memory game now. Um, there's some kind of a relationship between those characters. There's the whole cast of supporting characters. Um, combat is a focus. There's like there were lots of action elements that told us that um, this game is going to involve lots of combat, which of course is typical for a JRPG. Um, and then you know all of these different locations, which help drive home the sense that we are going to be traveling across. Uh, a, a land, right? We're not staying in one place, we're not focusing in one area, we're going to many different locations. Um, so that opening cinematic really sets us up and gives us, um, it informs our expectations of what we're going to be getting from this game uh, right off the bat, um, which is great. Uh, I, I'll actually, I'll say, there's an episode of Extra Credits that came out today um, talking about new player experience and, and ways to hook players uh at the beginning and that was a visual hook right that was that was a big pretty thing that says this is what you're you're getting into be excited get ready to sit here for 10 hours before you put the game down for the first time um and that i i feel like that did a pretty good job of of setting some kind of expectations for me we'll see how well it delivers on that afterward um these menus are you know typical for the time they're not great um, but they do the job they they show you what your options are and you know provide some context down below um, sort of the the gold aesthetic like the shiny metal everything's everything's made of, of metal um, our text here is a, a serif face all this is giving us a sense of um, not necessarily medieval. It's it's there's this weird anachronistic Japanese interpretation of uh of of European art and and architecture um, that is really present here um, in in sort of this like semi fleur de lis uh, pointer that we have for a menu. Um, this weird I can't there's no mouse but like the the compass rose shape next to the customize all of this has a very um synthesized european aesthetic to it um which again is is sort of typical but is is telling us that we shouldn't expect like the future right this is not a modern day rpg this is some kind of uh historical fantasy um uh setting and then our background here, um, with the the forest and the big tree and the water and the one feather, which I think the feather is tying back to that uh, female presenting character in the opening cinematic, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, this is giving us a sense of like nature, and and this is common in JRPGs where it puts the player up against. Um, sort of industrial, um, industrialized bad guys. So there's this tension between the natural world and industry, um, which is sort of what I'm anticipating based on this. Secret of Mana does a similar thing where it's like, here's a tree and some water and a spiky haired protagonist with swords. Um, and then you go and you fight uh, an industrialized empire. It's, it's 
I wouldn't say it's original, but it's tried and true to an extent. So I am. This is reinforcing some of that. No, don't give me the cinematic again. Nope. I'm sorry, I was talking too much. Um. But yeah. So. What I'm expecting here, let's let's get these expectations out so we can see how well the game meets them, right? We're expecting a large cast of characters that we can play with over the course of the game. We're expecting exploration, which again, looking at this logo, is reinforced in the sort of uh, compassy, uh, wayfindy chart in the background of the text there. So we're expecting travel, we're expecting a relationship between uh, the guy in red who's presumably our protagonist and the character with white hair and wings and stuff um, and we're expecting this to be a historic like a, a, a past fantasy right we're expecting swords and that kind of stuff um, but potentially some sort of tension between nature and industry uh, and specifically because our main menu is starting us here I'm expecting god damn it I'm expecting uh, the beginning of the game with our tutorial to start us in this natural environment, start us off soft, and then, you know, get into the action fairly quickly in a sort of uh, chrono trigger way. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Let's go with a new game. Change game settings. Yes. Uh... The skits contain a variety of fun conversations between the characters and offer hints about the game. Select the titles by on if you wish to see the titles of the skits. The skits can be triggered by pressing back. Uh, I don't know what button that is. Uh, auto. All actions are controlled by the AI. Semi-auto. We want, we want manual. Vibration on. Okay. And we might have to change the language. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. Is that Mercer? A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration. Lloyd Irving, wake up! Lloyd! Whoops. <laughs> ah! How do you manage to sleep standing? Oof. That, uh, that audio quality is... Yikes. Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the question. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. How's the, uh, how's the volume? It seems a little loud in my ears. Um, so just somebody holler in chat. Is the audio good? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? How we doing? Mythos the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell. To seal away the Desions whom caused the war. Whom, whom caused the war? Oh, oh my. Audio's fine to me, audio's good to me, awesome. Also, hi Terminally Nerdy, how are you doing? But the designs came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. Causing everyone to, oh no. Oh no, it's a good thing Jess isn't here. <laughs> we covered that in class last time, remember? 
When the seal weakens, the designs reappear, just like they have now. I, uh, yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Today is the day of prophecy. Is it? How convenient. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess Martell. Ooh. Now Chosen One, Colette. Oh. O okay, that was... She's just in class with us. Fantastic. Yes, ma'am. Tell us about the journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. Is it? Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summoned spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we, we should expect the Chosen again? herself to know <laughs> the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. That doesn't sound good. It is said that this occurs because the Designs consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. Human ranches? Okay, I was expecting like... You know... Secret of mana... Oh, the evil empire! But, oh, I guess we're eating people? Jesus! Okay, yeah, let's seal them away. That's, that sounds important. Denny! The Chosen's you got your journey own has two purposes. Ranches. To revive mana, <laughs> as well as defeat the designs. Nice, uh, nice timing there, Danny. <laughs> and hello. Now for the next question. Human ranches is just so I'm. Look, I'm terribly white, and I have a I have a horrible addiction to ranch dressing. So this is just making me want like carrots and ranch. Oh, uh. <gasps> how was that? It's time yes. for fate! Settle down. It would seem that the time for the oracle has come. Also, I just noticed, if you look behind my frame, there's a hole in the wall there in the shape of a person. And I'm wondering whose fault that is. <laughs> I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with you. No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. Give me control. Nice. Okay, so we don't have camera controls. Noted. Uh, can we... Pause? Uh... Oh! Okay, we pause with triangle. Good to know. Uh, real quick, I wanna... Adjust... Uh... Event voiceover... Hmm... Oh! Oh, there's more! Oh my god! Voice language! Japanese, the anxious DM, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna set the voice language to Japanese, um, because I have heard, and I was taking a look on the, on the Steam forums for this one, I heard there are some issues with the, uh, English version, there are some scenes that just aren't voiced in English, um, so we're gonna be playing with the Japanese voiceover and the English text, so hopefully that works for everyone. Alright. That is a that is a strong oblique on the uh, HP and, and TP there, which I'm assuming is health points and toilet paper. Uh, all right, let's let's talk to Colette, which is X. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn the controls. I'm gonna learn how to how to play this game. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Danny. Wait, what did she say? That light was so pretty. Was it? Okay. What's everybody what's everybody looking at? What's going on? I wonder if that light had something to do with the Oracle. Uh, during class, Rain said that when the Oracle comes, the Crux's crystal, Jesus, enshrined in the altar shines. So that light must have been emitted by the Crux's crystal at the temple. I wonder if it had something to do with the Crux's crystal. At the temple. Uh, oh no, not you. No. Oh. This, this kid. Tiny kid. Is the temple that building north of the village? 
I don't know. The professor seemed kind of nervous. That's 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 not good. Yeah, so <laughs> you're correct. That is that is a suspiciously colette-shaped hole. Uh, that which which already tells us something about her character, right? So rain. Rain was like, bad stuff's happening, I'm out, I'm gonna go be an adult, and Colette was like, fuck yeah, I'm with you! Um, so, that gives us an impression that she's sort of a go-getter, which is reinforced here by, yeah, examine. Huh? When did this hole get here? Uh, which is reinforced by the suspiciously Colette-shaped hole. Um, this gives us uh, an impression that she's sort of, um... A wild character. Also, I like that we're kids in a school and I've already got two swords on me. Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen of Regeneration and the Day of Prophecy, but... No one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. It's research. Uh, that's just an excuse. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be so stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends after all. A plus exposition. Colette, wanna come along too? Huh? Um, okay. So where to? Uh, where else? That light! You're directly involved in all of this. Aren't you curious? Huh? Are you curious about it? Of course. Okay, then I'll be curious about it too. <laughs> what a team player. <laughs> Troublesome youngins, yeah. C. Dwarven vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay then, let's go to the temple. That seemed like a bit of a non sequitur. I'm wondering if this is a writing issue or a translation issue. Not the dwarven vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. Colette and Genus join the party. When back appears at the left edge of the screen, press back to trigger a skit. Skits contain hints about where to go next, as well as offer a variety of fun chats between the characters. Which button is back? Give me a skit! Oh, oh. We have We have three kids in our party. Also, the money appears to be gald instead of gold. Interesting. Can I look at the controls? I doubt it. Keyboard controls, oh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Seems like an ingenious play on gold or a typo. Yeah, that's, so, that's a thing that we talked about when I was in College for Design a lot. Um, the importance of, of differentiating things um, a significant amount. Because if you are close to a thing, but not quite there, or if you're moving away from it, but you're still kind of close, then you can run into an area where uh, viewers and consumers will assume it's an accident, right? So, for example, if you have if you have two elements in a design that are almost lining up but not quite, then you as a designer need to decide if you want them to actually line up or if you want to push them really far apart. Because if they're close, if it's ambiguous, then people are going to look at it and it's going to bother them. It's going to create a, a weird sort of tension. Hi Jess! Hello! Glad you could make it. Now we get to see if I can figure out which button is the back button. It's not that one. Oh, I see. We can rotate with the L and R1 buttons. Set it galled. 
Okay, that's triangle. Is back circle? Um, right stick, left stick. What? What button is back? Oh. Oh, I can't get back to the doctor. But I don't know what to do. But I that was cute. I like how they did that, um, with animating the, the character portraits. It's a nice touch. Uh, yes, Jess. I, I heard that the skits in English don't have voiceover, so I, I switched it over to, to Japanese VO. What's going on? It's awfully quiet. Where did everyone go? Colette! I'm Frank. This is Frank's voice now. Father. Frank? Thank goodness you're safe. Frank, what happened to everyone in the village? Says Genus as we look at a village that looks fine, but doesn't have people. They're all hiding. The... Decians? Was that how it was pronounced? I forget. The Decians invaded the village just a short while ago. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. Why? Azalea has a non-aggression treaty with the Decians. You mean that agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the human ranch alone? Yes. Grandmother said it's to protect me. Oh, where's Grandmother? Phaedra, hey, I know someone named Phaedra. Uh, it's spelled with an E, not an I, but still. Phaedra is in the temple, preparing for the ritual. Desions. Oh. Desions is a lot more fun to say, anyway. Phaedra's in the temple? But that's where the Desions... The priests are there with her. There's no need to worry. Now, Colette. I know. I'll promise to fulfill my destiny, er, my duty as the Chosen. Good luck, Colette. Lloyd, Genus, you two should go on home. That's not happening. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple. Me too. But... Alright. Thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. It's always about destiny. Hmm, I wonder what this curious glowing circle is. I wonder if it's a save point. You can save your game on this memory circle. Press A when, or X when standing on the memory circle to access the save screen and choose a location to save. Boop. Let's do it. Save obsessively. Oh god, it's bothering me not being able to move the camera with the right joystick, but... Alas. Alright, so I understand that there's an urgent matter at the temple, but this is an RPG and we're gonna walk around and interact with everything we can. It's locked, oh. What's this sign say? Whoa! It's a monster! I thought the northern region where the temple is located was a sanctuary! Why are there... It must be part of the trial. Martel's trial involves battling monsters. We don't have time to talk. Let's get this thing. Roger. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Fun. Uh, cook? Successfully prepared sand... I have no idea what's happening right now. We just got thrown into combat with no tutorial, and then at the end there was a button that said cook, and I made a sandwich at the end of com... What is this game? Jess, what have you done? <laughs> what have you recommended to me? <gasps> okay. <laughs> That was easy. First time cooking achievement. Huzzah. That was easy. Lloyd, you're amazing! 
Ah, well, I, I owe it to this thing, though. These, these swords that I happen to ha Oh, no. Ah, that's right, the X-Sphere. More like the exposition sphere, am I right? Uh, yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. Without this thing, I'd be nothing. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah, at least his sword skills are good. What do you mean, at least? There's another one! Let's go, you two! <laughs> Just shush and play. Wait, Lloyd! The professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks against non-physical and spiritual monsters. Really? Yes! Okay then, I'll leave the ghost to Genus. I'll go for the zombie. During pre battle, press right button to switch the controlled character's target to the closest enemy. Tilt the left stick or press the uh, directional things left or right while holding right button to select a target freely. Okay, here we go. Okay. We got this, friends. Um, right button. Fireball! Nice. Successfully prepared a sandwich. I'm so confused by this. <laughs> it's important to choose the target wisely. When there's a lot of monsters, or if we're up against a dangerous one. It's especially important when saving the ally that's in trouble. We have to be careful. Let's go to the temple. My voices for these characters are sliding all over the place, but... Whatever. Alright, let's... Uh, menu. Uh, customize. There's a thing that I wanted to change. Mm. No, no, I guess, I guess we're fine. Um, I wanted to adjust the control scheme. The, like... Auto versus not auto, but we're fine. Oh, wait, cooking. Lloyd, a lunchtime classic restores a small amount of... I see. So if you have a recipe equipped at the end of combat, you can get some kind of a bonus, I think. Interesting. Well, let's not go toward the temple, because of course not. Why, hello! Welcome to Halo! Love that game. Uh, bye. Apple Gel. A gelatin-based medication restores 30% of max HP. Life bottle, revise a KO to ally. How much money do we have? 532? Okay. Wooden blade, chakram, nova, that's what we already have. Boots. A very generic looking pair of boots. Chicken, lettuce, tomato, bread, egg. <laughs> I just, eventually I will get used to the idea of there being a cooking mechanic on a JRPG, but right now it's, it's kind of comical to me. Um, From like a design perspective, it's interesting um, because it gives you a way to like if you look at it just as a pure mechanic, it's a uh, it's an end of combat bonus that encourages you presumably to poke around the world and like find recipes. Um, so it is interesting. It's just the uh, the narrative approach of it is a little silly to me. Lloyd, do you need something for my house? Uh, no, not really. We're supposed to go to the temple, come on! In case you've forgotten, you get to the temple by going out the north exit. From there, it's straight up the path. Thanks, Genus. What a pal. Ooh. 
the designs headed for the sanctuary. All right, thanks. Give me weapons. Oh wait, what? The way to the temple is through the north exit, right? All right, I think they want us to go through the north exit, friends. But instead, let's go over here. Who's this? It's locked. All right, well. I'm trying to find us all the loot and stuff. Ooh, is this Colette's house? Of course it is. Hi, Frank. Are you all right? Here, let me heal you. Fully healed. How kind. What's up here? Is there loot? Oh. I wonder if any of these books are hiding some hint about regenerating the world. What about this one? The Teachings of Martel. Let's see. Chapter 1. The Establishment of the Church of Martel. Any serious study of the church must begin with a lesson in world regeneration. Perhaps you are already familiar with the legends. At the center of the world, there once grew a mighty tree that bore manna as its fruit. But the flames of war saw the tree wither, and it was the life of a hero, given willingly, that became manna. Moved and saddened by his sacrifice, the goddess retreated to her heavenly abode. An angel bore her message to the world. If I slumber over long, all creation will crumble. You must awaken me. The angel gave birth to the Chosen. The Chosen sought the towered heaven, and so the cycle of regeneration was begun. So opens the most notable legend on the origins of the rite. Huh, first I'm hearing about it. Seriously, Lloyd, we learned that the morning of the Day of Prophecy. Okay, second I'm hearing about it. <sighs> My poor sister. <laughs> Jesus. Does he literally sleep through every class he's in? Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So let's, uh, let's get rolling. To field! Or not to field. Oh, now we can control the camera a little bit. Technology. Uh, what's the temple like? Uh, this one? No. Um. Oh, we can change the mini map. Uh, forget which button it was. That was back. Oh, this one.僕らは中に入ったことないから、なんだかドキドキするよ。What's over here? Nothing! Oh god, monsters! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some fighting. Oh, okay, so it pauses while we do this. That's nice. Dwarf <laughs> found number seven. Just as love will always win. Specifically, Eric Sandwich. This game is gonna make me so hungry. Oh, oh yeah! Ow, Jesus Christ. Ow, Jesus. You got toasted. Ooh, ouch. So, typically, I skip as many fights as I can in JRPGs. 
I don't like grinding, but that always bites me in the ass later, so I'm gonna try and actually do some fights in this game. Oh. Oh, Come on, friends, I believe. I literally can't control them, so... RIP! Okay, well... An attempt was made. No one ever heard from them again! Jesus! Harsh! Okay, well there's nothing over there for us to go to. Uh... So let's, let's go do these fights again. Blah 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 combat! I like how the the battle music ramps up as this guy gets closer. All right, we got this. So this is pretty, pretty button mashy. Pretty simple so far. I'm curious if we're gonna get control of the other characters at some point. Um, but I mean, this came out in 2004, so it's still pretty early as far as um. Ah, koreto. As far as real time RPGs go, so we shall see. I suppose we probably could have skipped this, um, but I don't know if it creates some kind of like an a, a, a flag in the game. And it's cute. Alright, let's fight. Get wrecked, bunny! Toast. So we're hearing the Japanese. Skits are imports in English? Yeah. Um. I've. Aw, oh, we failed at making a sandwich. I've gotten pretty used to hearing Japanese just from like watching subbed anime and then hanging out on on Jess's stream where she has the uh, Japanese audio for the Shinsen Kumi. Y'all can take care of that, right? There we go. Nice. Ah, uh, that's fair. Alright, so I don't... I don't know why the fights are going a whole lot better this time around, but I'm definitely not going to complain about it. Shabam! Mother, mother. Alright. Temple! 
Let's do it. Whoa! That light really is coming from the temple. And an oracle is going to be conveyed. Colette's going to be the chosen of regeneration. It's really, really bright. <laughs> Say, Colette, when the oracle is conveyed, you'll become the chosen who will save the world, right? You're gonna be like the hero, Mythos. She's gonna die by the end of this game, I guarantee it. So, maybe you should act a little more, you know, chosen-like. Yeah, uh, no problem, no problem. Hey, there's a lot of commotion at the temple. You're right. Okay, we're just gonna listen to combat while this guy walks down the stairs toward us. Chosen one! Oh! <laughs> Pastor? Hey, are you alright? The, the Desions broke the non-aggression treaty and attacked the temple. Chosen one, quickly! The Oracle. I know. Please, be careful. I regret that I will not be able to protect the Chosen. Pastor, hang on! It's no good. He's gone. No. Damn, these poor kids. I'm going. Colette! There are designs in there! Yes, but I have to go. I'm the Chosen. My job is to accept the Oracle on the Day of Prophecy. The two of you wait here, okay? Lloyd, are you going to let Colette go by herself? I'm going to. I can't let you go by yourself. Are you sure? It's dangerous. Dwarven vow number one. Let's all work together. Uh, I didn't finish reading that, but let's do the thing. Let's go. Wait, I'm going to. I'm worried about rain. Thanks, both of you. Alright. Let's fuck people up. Can we jump? Nope. Alright. Ow! Mikoa Dogoda. Kuretto! Nigger no jia! Puta sama! Arega Miko no yo des! よし。ミコよ。命はもらい受けるぞ。よし。デザイアンなんかにやらせるかよ。デザイアンか。な、何がおかしいんだよ。ではその憎いデザイアンに殺されるがいい。かかれ。<笑> カメラ。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと
決まれここいつ強いよ、oh、強い Is he? 俺じゃ、oh, whoops. おおあんた下がっていろ Okay. Oh, nice, we got help. Thanks, healer man. Oh, s t a y e This is um, This is certainly a fight. This is super interesting so far. I imagine they're like trying not to overwhelm you. But I think that, that fight could have been about half as long. Earned the title Combo Newbie. Nice. Masaka Kisama ga araoreru to wana. Ichiji tettai suru zo! Sugoi! Mecha mecha tsuyoi yo! Ano oji san! So da na. Buji ka? We were good, thanks. Hey, we both have little glove stones. Xphere. Miko, I made it. I don't have any words. Okay. This girl is the girl of Miko. Uh oh. Should we not have told you that? そうだ、信託を受けないとおばあさま、私はこれから試練を受けてまいります、うん、試練ってなんだ魔物の言葉だろう聖堂の中から邪悪な気配がするその通りじゃ、ミコは天からの審判を受けるしかし護衛に着くはずの祭司たちはディザイアの襲撃で倒れてしまったのじゃ。Like I know Lloyd, Lloyd is an idiot for our sakes, right? Like he doesn't know anything so that people have an excuse to tell us stuff, but ooh, he is exceptionally dumb. <笑>それなら、俺がコレットの護衛を引き受けるよ。ロイドか、お前では心もとないの。<笑>お前はロイドというのかそうだけど人の名前を尋ねる前にまず自分も名乗ったらどうだ私はクラトス傭兵だクラトス金さえ用意してもらえるならミコの護衛を引き受けよう銭に腹は変えられんな契約成立だなおおジーズス,スクラティカス With the raid of 12 people hot diggity, hello, Scrap Pack. How's everybody doing? We are、uh, we are playing Tales of Symphonia for the very first time. I have never even、uh, I've never seen this game.、Uh, hadn't heard of it until quite recently. So having a, a good old time with this classic JRPG goodness. The power of friendship. Compels you. I feel pretty compelled. This is this is a compelling,、uh, compelling argument you're putting forward. <laughs> Ma, Mateo, how's your stream, Scrat? If you're around, if you're in chat, how,、uh, how did it go? How were things? Lloyd, you're a little bit of a 
おとなしくここで待ってる、wow, Super rude Yeah, for sure, Scrat. I, I understand. Yeah, we're gonna go with the, the what did you say? Uh, response. We're gonna be a total protagonist about this. Oh shit! Heckin' rip, dude! <laughs> oh, thanks, Colette. Way to be a bro. しかし。お願いです。私、ロイドがいないと不安です。ああ。勝手にしろ。行くぞ、ジーニアス。え、僕も行くの当たり前だろ。子供の遠足ではないのだが。<笑><笑> Oh, that was a very long pause. Aww. Also, I noticed in the Japanese voiceover, he's, his name is pronounced Genius and not Genus. Colette is the sweetest angel. I'm getting that impression, Jess. So this is what the inside of the temple is like. Colette, you've been in here many times, right? Yeah. But it seems different than usual. Uh, what voice should we give Kratos? I sense the- I'm gonna give him the super edgelord voice. I sense the presence of monsters. Don't let your guard down. We can handle a few measly monsters. Let's go. Wait, Lloyd, are your sword techniques self-taught? Yeah, that's right. <sighs> oh, what is this thing? If you're going to use a sword, then at least learn the basics. You want to protect the chosen, don't you? Huh. You think you know so much. In English, they changed the names Refill and Genius to Rain and Genus because... Refill, yeah. Refill is... Oof, that's a name. Uh... Your brother and you are kids. I paid through gamer magazines and wanted to cosplay Kratos and Sheena from this game. Kratos is, uh... Voiced by a very fatherly Ken Clark. Good to know. Acquired training manual. Yeah! Alright, let's, uh... Let's use that. I guess? Items? Nope. Uh, tech? Demon Fang. Attack with powerful shockwave. Uh. De Demon, Demon Fang. Uh. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We can change the control type. You want manual. There we go. Manual. Hell yeah. I'm gonna put everybody's stuff on up so that I can remember it. And then down for stone blast. Which we can't do yet. Okay. Learn you some fighting. All right, Drake. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Demon Fang, Fireball, first aid. Uh, actually, we're gonna put you on semi-auto. Let's do that with everybody. That seems like the smart move. Cause I imagine if it's on manual, um, then if I'm not actively selecting them, they won't do anything. That's my assumption. Strat. Oh god, oh it's been so long since I played a JRPG like this. Right, oh wow. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, you just, you do your stuff. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, the last time I played a game like this was... Was it Star Ocean? Or was it 
No, it was Final Fantasy 12? 13? The the one with the cool air pirate guy and the um and Fran with the bunny ears. Um Equip. Uh where is our training manual? There we go. Battle basics. Movement. Oh, hey, we have instructions now. Under semi-auto control, press while holding down X, which I think is square, to jump. Basic attacks are X. Many attack variations can be performed while holding the stick in any direction. Defense, hold, yeah, so square is X, hold square to guard. Okay, and we can jump while guarding. Uh, can only control one character at a time, the others are AI, but you said they're tactical style, okay. Other actions, to use items, open the menu with triangle and choose item. And then targeting, yeah, okay. Um... We've been going for a little over an hour, so I wanna, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna look for a save point, hopefully. No? Oh god. Well, I was going to go on a quick break. Oh god, um, okay, how do we switch characters? Oh dear. I don't think we can, maybe? So, real quick, I'm gonna, oh. Nope, I guess I'm on this one on my own. <laughs> How, what? Game, please. Uh, strat. Hey, there we go. Um, attack, attack freely, please. I can't switch characters with any of the buttons. Oh, oh. Nope, that, that did nothing. There is no start menu. There's 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 no way to go into the actual menu during combat. So Yep. Uh, shit. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just solo this fight and it'll be fine. I'm assuming that this is meant, based on the like 1P, 2P, 3P, 4P, I'm assuming that's meant to be um, different players can take control of different characters. But. Oh shit, we died. Uh, switch characters! Oh god. We're going to run away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That was an unmitigated disaster. Uh. Oh, so does this change which character I'm playing? It does. Interesting. Um, 
Everyone else needs to be auto. Yeah, I'm I'm noticing that. Uh, <laughs> okay, auto, auto, auto. All right, and then can we heal? First aid. No, once he is down, he is he's gone. He's out. Fucking rip, dude. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break. I'm just going to leave it on the pause menu and alt tab us out. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to get some water and uh, grab a quick snack because I haven't eaten a little bit. But when we return, we will get back to this good, good JRPG bullshit. See you very soon. <laughs> 